Hi, this is an update on the single coil dual pole uh, motor, which is a shaded pole motor that I've modified uh, by cutting the rotor. And the rotor is cut in a, a Z shape. And uh, I've got a very, very basic uh, brush commutator here to make the contacts. And uh, it's there on the side, on both sides. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this guy here. Here we've got voltage going in. And this meter here will be our milliamps consumed. And um, we're going to be uh, sending the back EMF collapsing field of the single coil, which is underneath there, well, <laughs> right there in the bottom, uh, back into the capacitor here. And there's a diode there to uh, uh, keep the voltage directed into the capacitor to not, not get back into the motor. And we've got a bulb here that we can short out the uh, capacitor with. Uh, and here on this meter, I'll uh, show the uh, capacitor being filled. And I've got a 12 volt going to the uh, motor coming from this power supply, which I just turned on. Um, I'm going to zero my amp meter here, and here we've got 13.5 volts, and we'll start the pulse motor, and we're consuming about 130 milliamps, and our capacitor is being filled up pretty darn fast. We're up to 63, 64, 65, 66, 67 volts. Input voltage, 13.5 still. And 143, 44, 40. Uh, I guess 142 range. 142, that's milliamps because it's on the uh, 4 amp uh, scale at this time. So that's got 0 0.3 digit resolution on this uh, clamp-on meter here. Very accurate. And let's see how we're doing on capacitor. We're up to 81 volts. 82 volts. So this guy here would be could be replaced with a uh, battery and um, would uh, recharge the battery with the uh, collapsing fields of the single coiler. Well, 193 volts. I think that's probably where we're st going to stay at, probably there. I think it's somewhere levels off at about 100 volts. So uh, we'll stop it. And we can now uh, light our bulb for a little while here. So that's what we were able to accumulate of uh, power in there. That's pretty well it there.
and there's our capacitor just ending its voltage down to zero. Okay, thanks for checking and uh, we'll get back uh, maybe with uh, this guy here going. This is uh, another test uh, motor that I'll have and uh, hopefully that'll work out well too. Thanks for looking.